the guitar becomes your passion. And I mean, thank God for that. It's the only other thing in the house, for Christ's sake. (laughs) I mean, you slept with that guitar, am I correct? Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you would walk around. uh, uh, That's how I got satisfaction, because it was always within hand's reach, you know. How old were you when you you picked up your first guitar? Twelve. Twelve. Something like that. Twelve, thirteen, yeah. Because my grandfather introduced me to... Because he had one. <laughs> but was it a <laughs> <Which> real? <helped. laughs> did you have a realization that this might be my ticket? Nah, not. I mean, it was just something that fascinated me. And then when, I, when Grandpa gave it to me and lent me and said, "Bum, you know, Bum, put your fingers here, try this out," and then it went on from there. And I said, "Well, I really like this," but I had absolutely no uh, you know, preconceived notions about playing music or anything. I mean, Granddad. There was uh, Gus was his name. Um, <laughs> but what a great, you must have such a loving feeling for Gus. You're I mean, kidding me. <laughs> gave you the guitar. Yeah, and then he turned me on to it and just, but without pushing, you know, I mean, he would just say, oh, you, he used to keep it, there was a, on a shelf in, in his living room and it was just there and, and, one day, uh, when I was visiting, now and I used to visit every now and again. And um, he says, "You keep looking at that thing. Yeah, you want to." Uh, he was basically a violinist himself, you know, but he had instruments around him, and, and he pulled it off the shelf and said, "And put it in my hands and said, if you can learn this little Spanish thing, this flamenco thing called Malaguena, of course, if you can, like, just it's it's." quite simple to learn to start with you know and then you can elaborate but so if you can learn that you'll be able to play the guitar you know so i went to work <laughs> how many years did you play before you started to feel confident uh, i know it was a few months before i said i've got to take this further i want to take this you know for, but the thing is that there was no way i was going to be a musician musician you know going to like the college of uh, in music right and I think it just started to come to me and uh, and then i realized what i really wanted to do was to play with another cat mm. just i mean this is the jerking, jam yeah yeah because basically you're jerking off by yourself, <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah. and, anyway, but what you can do with another cat throwing in licks and like the counterpoint and just playing uh, against each other that it opens up a whole world. Did you, you know? find older kids to do that with? Who do I find? Mick Jagger. <laughs> well, Mick was, in, Mick was a singer. Yes, I know. He wasn't playing it up, but through Mick, I mean, I got to play. You know, he was hanging out with other guitar players. I had a couple of friends at art school that were playing as well, i got right. to say. But, I mean, it wasn't seriously until Mick and I hooked that I really thought about this thing as being... Ah, well, I could take this on, you know. Otherwise, it was just a hobby, you know. And what's crazy is, too, you know, I was talking about this. You can't have a plan B. Like, you just started playing guitar, hanging with these dudes. You never sat and said to yourself, well, maybe I'll go get a job at the hardware store. No. You were all in. I mean, that's it. That's what it takes. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no possibility of doing anything else. Do you play every day? In other words, are you still so passionate about guitar that, like, it's part of your blood and part of your life? I pick it up just about every day. And to this day, after all your years, you still love it. It's a work in progress, Howard. Every time you pick the thing up, there's the potential of finding something totally new. How is that possible? You know what I mean? It's the same notes... It's the same progressions. It's the yet. one note against the other and about and the, the rhythm at the same time. This is why music is so beautiful and why it kind of it's always said it's kind of weird to talk about music. Yeah. Because, you know, if, if you could put music into words, there'd be no need for it. 